Turning now to the crisis along our southern border, how about that? and the rise in the deadly fentanyl cases that continue to come through our country. According to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, fentanyl seizures increased 57% from December to January. And our border correspondent, Jason Jones, joining us live there in Austin, Texas. Uh, Jason, you were briefed on fentanyl seizures, not just in Texas, but also Arizona, a bordering state as well. What can you tell us this hour? No, that's absolutely right. You know, last week we were embedded all week with the men and women of the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. And I sat down with Chief Thomas, and the numbers were just incredible. In 2018, they seized zero fentanyl pills. And in 2021, 1.2 million. And that's just one law enforcement in, in Arizona. When I asked the chief who's responsible, take a listen to what he had to say. You know these cartels very well, the Sinaloa cartel. What do you want Americans to know about what that cartel specifically is doing to this country when you've seized 1.2 million pills in just one year alone, just right. your agency. Right. The biggest thing they need to understand is that these cartels, they are criminal organizations. They do not care about the people they destroy, the families they destroy, the people they kill. Um, and they need to be treated as such. The minute that we as Americans and us as the government call them what they are, they're terrorizing our country, they're terrorizing our youth, they're killing our youth. <laughs> Call them what they are, treat them like what they are. They are terrorists, and we need to deal with them as such. And the minute we do, and we start dealing with them appropriately, we can start solving some of these issues. Yeah, and the sheriff didn't stop there, guys. He went on to talk about two weeks ago, a 14-year-old girl died from fentanyl poisoning in his community. So it's very personal to the sheriff's department and to the personnel there, but it just continues, you know. Yesterday, I was in South Texas with Texas DPS at the state level. And let me give you some numbers that they're seeing as well of fentanyl seizures. In the last 11 months, that one agency has seized 1,025 pounds of deadly fentanyl, enough to kill 232 million Americans. And it just continues back to back. Even when you look at the apprehension of people coming in, last week, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, we just got the preliminary numbers coming in, guys. 43,000 apprehensions at your southwest border. And of those, 16,000 got away in one week. Yeah, that, that, that number is amazing to see there. And again, fentanyl CDC uh, reports a uh, leading cause of death ages 18 to 45, uh, fentanyl overdoses. Amazing to see that fencing goes up all around the Capitol and National Guard's troops go straight to the Capitol for these trucker protests. But yet here's what we have at our border. Jason Jones, live there in Texas with us. Thank you.